Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Fat Guy Flies RC. We're going to unbox the mystery box here. And actually, it's not much of a mystery box because it is the Tower Hobbies Beaver 1.5 plug and play. Alright. Yeah, they're, they're box. They don't do much in the way of graphics. So, uh, if y'all remember my retail rescue beaver that I had, DHC beaver I had years ago, um, basically it's the same plane. Um, everything, as you can see, is wrapped up in its own little individual bits of foam. And this is, even though it's been rebranded as a tower hobby, make no mistake, it is a, um, it's the uh, Fly Zone brand. Um, I'm sure you work very, very tight foam. This foam is very tight. In fact, I don't even see, I don't even see gator cells, you know, where the individual cells are. I don't even see that. Interesting uh, clevis there. It's like a, and there's the uh, arm, the tiller arm through that. Very, very tight. Okay. Take a look at our rudder here. Or our vertical stabilizer. Everything is wrapped in its own little bit of foam. Interesting uh, mechanism there to turn it. I have kind of a key in there. And the foam actually has mechanical little plastic hinges in there. It's a foam hinge with a mechanical uh, reinforcement. So that is a very nice touch on the rudder. However, on the elevator, looks like it's just a very quality, but just a foam pinch hinge. Okay. Comes with floats, and they are painted. I'm not going to unwrap them, but the floats are painted silver. So what to wrap to match the uh, plane. Gear, very nice looking wheels, but they're very hard. Very hard wheels. But, if I remember right, that is how they are. Well, this is kind of cool. Talk about detailed skirts. Wood place. Remove plate before installing on the model. Okay, that's just kind of glued on there. All right. Save that piece of wood. Never throw away little bits and pieces of wood like that. Looks like uh, struts. Probably for the... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think these are for the... Uh, floats. Stick these over here. Decals and a non folded manual. Oh, crop. Not my knife, but my foot wasn't there. Very nice. Good looking spinner. That prop is a. I uh, can't tell. I can't read the cow. The, the uh, nose cone covers it. The other plane in here with the same wooden plate that you have to remove. Again, it's just glued on there. 
have a little box in here that's got something in it. Ah, some Velcro. All your, oh, this is for the rudder. Um, the rudder uses a push pull type system. Also looks like those veins that go on the back of the tail. The rear wheel mechanism. And then all your bits and pieces for the wing joiner, it looks like. Now, understand, this is kind of, for lack of a better term, old school electric plane, planes. This isn't like the new generation of electric E-flight planes and Aeros planes and stuff that you just got, you know, four screws, throw the thing together, she's ready to go. This takes a little bit of an assembly. This is more of a true assembly, not a, it's not, no, none of these are a build. Um, for me, building requires measuring and cutting and forming. Um, these are assemblies. I just this is a little more of an in-depth assembly than what you're, what you're going to be used to. So I won't be doing a assembly video. I will do a post-assembly video because this assembly is going to take a little while, and uh, I don't think I can make. That, that entertaining. Um, very nice finish. I mean, you're very hard pressed to find the individual foam cells. I mean, you, I can see them on this, but um, the very, very, very nice surface. Interesting enough, the flaps and the the uh, um, servos are enclosed, so you can't see them. And this has a push-pull type um, uh, sir, uh, mechanism for the uh, flaps. Whereas on both sides of the flaps, when the wings go in, there's going to be a servo with a quick connect, and it's going to and it has that, that tiller arm. It's going to grab a hold of these two flaps, and will make your flaps mechanism move. Interesting how this uh, wing curves in just a little bit there. See how it kind of curves in? Very true to scale. This is going to be a very good looking model. They definitely, even though it's just put in a box, all these parts are supported and protected. So, and definitely look to be quality. Definitely look like quality. Same mechanism again. Servo is hidden from sight, so the only leads you have coming out are the servo wire and the light at the end. The light at the end of the wing or the, the tunnel <laughs> in this case. And then last but not least. Very nice how they put all this in here. Well, they definitely have planned this out. Here's my wing struts I was looking for. And they're not plastic. These are metal, metal wing struts. Okay. Now it's in the box. Very Kind of a hefty box. It really is. I mean, it's, it's like double corrugated. All right. Good looking model. Good looking model. It's got lights all over it. Look, they've even taken the time to put a little protector on the end of the nose. I mean, 
That's just a nice touch. That tells me they're taking some time. And this is not that expensive model. What is it? Uh, 269, I think. 269. Lady Esther. She runs the little airline where these are, I think, up in Canada. Now, on the fuselage, you can see the gatorade. But it's not too terribly bad. And that, see that on that uh, servo, that servo arm there, how that, that'll swing back and forth, that's what controls the flaps. Looks like everything screws in together. And see, there's that push pull mechanism that would turn your, it's going to turn your wheel. Also, it's going to turn, will turn the rudders on the uh, floats. Shouldn't be all that hard of a build, but it's a little bit different of a build. It's going to think this plane will fit together a little bit differently than what you're used to. Like if you like an example of that is if you notice this wing has two carbon spars, this wing has a sealed carbon spar. They're already together and they join like this and they don't slide into each other. It's engineered to stop right at the edge of the wing. So some thought and design went into this. So this is not a just throwing together you know foam and glue it. You know, this is, this is, there's some there's a little bit of care that's going into this and I appreciate that. Alright so I'm gonna get it together. If there's anything that just screams out to me that hey you need to see this or know about this um, I will show it. Um, but we're gonna get it together and uh, that's the unboxing of the uh, Power Hobbies, formerly uh, Fly Zone uh, Beaver 1.5, and this is the um, oh, the Island Islander Island Wings edition of the plane. She's got light, she's got flaps, and uh, interesting enough, look at, look at that, just to protect the bottom there. There's another piece of um, the way you put is she's a bottom loader. You're going to turn that. And that is your, I'll probably do that little mod there to grab a hold of the battery hatch. Um, but your battery is going to be like a 2200 to 2700. It's going to slide in this way. And if you look in here, you've got a sticky place there with Velcro for a receiver. And then on the other side there, you have a 40 amp ESC EC3 connector. You've got a everything is labeled. Even got a little light controller there for the lights. So yeah, that cavern right there. Kind of see that battery's going to slide up in there. Or well, one place to put it. So all right, there you go. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. This is Fat Guy Flying RC. That's the unboxing of the uh, the Havlin uh, BHC2 Beaver Island Wings Edition. We'll get her together, and if anything stands out that you need to know about, or difficult, or I thought was great, or I thought was bad, I'll let you know. And we'll do a uh, radio setup video along with a post build video, all in one. All right, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, Faye family and friends, cool northern utilitarian float planes. Bye-bye. <laughs>